Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVersity. As part of Cloudware Certified Associates Spark and Hadoop Developer, in this video I continue to cover change the delimiter and file format of data during import using scope. So I have covered uh, uh, already uh, about changing the delimiter during the import and uh, now I will be covering during the export as well. Even though as part of the uh, certification curriculum, they don't mention uh, export and import explicitly mentioned import it is important to for you to understand uh, even the export uh, perspective also um, so that you can actually change the delimiters while loading the data once this is done i will be talking about the file format in a separate video that being said uh, let us go to the scoop user guide first so as part of the control arguments in the scoop uh, uh, export Earlier we have seen import and you have seen null string and non null string. The counterparts for input null string, uh, sorry, the counterparts for scoop import null string and null non string are input null string and input null non string for scoop export. In scoop import it is null string and null non string, and in scoop export it is input null string and input null non string. What does that mean? So if you go to our cluster and uh, this is the um, actual data uh, we have uh, uh, copied as part of the import statement using uh, null string and null non string and you can see that there is one record with uh, minus one and nvl minus one for numeric null and nvl for uh, numeric uh, st uh, string null which we have mentioned as part of the scope import command so um, now if we have to export this values as nulls into the uh, mysql database you have to say input null string as nvl because for string we are representing nvl uh, for null and uh, uh, input null non string is minus one uh, that way when the data is imported from scoop uh, into sorry exported from uh, hdfs into mysql database these values are actually represented as null values. I will demonstrate the, that thing uh, in few minutes. And also, uh, we have seen uh, these uh, fields terminated by and lines terminated by to specify custom delimiters. The default delimiter for the scoop is comma for field and the new line character for line. And if you have to change those values in import, you have used fields terminated by and lines terminated by. And also you have enclosed by and escaped by as well. Enclosed by is uh, if you want to enclose a particular string in double quote, then you can use input enclosed by. But as our data does not enclosed um, um, by any double quotes, I will be ignoring that. Uh, I will not be using input enclosed by to demonstrate and also input escaped by. But uh, the fields are um, some special character delimited. Hive, it is um, a control A, which is represented by U001. So we have to, um, it's an ASCII code. Actually, it is represented like this, U001 Unicode uh, for control A. And that is the delimiter here. And uh, uh, if you want to view, what you can do is, uh, instead of running cat, you can say get and give the file name as department underscore test and hit enter okay well it is trying to copy directory file i'm not sure why it is not working me do this okay I think I have to give the directory name so I am giving the current directory which is represented by dot in Linux now it is copied and you can see the file uh, part and um, so these two are the files so we can actually do view on these two files and you can see the actual delimiter by running view or vi on that file if you just do cat 
you will see the special character because standard out might interpret uh, in a different manner so view actually gives the actual delimiters so we have to change the um, uh, default scoop delimiter which is comma to this special character and you have to do that um, at regular intervals so it is important to understand the command for that for uh, uh, from syntax perspective for fields uh, the counterpart of uh, scoop import fields terminated by in a scoop export is input fields terminated by and lines terminated by i am using new line character itself if you want to change you can change it uh, you can even leave it because the default between uh, the default uh, uh, line uh, delimiter between scoop and high is same which is new line character that being said there are few uh, a few more uh, parameters also when you are trying to do the export if you want to so um, these things uh, uh, these are primarily from scoop import command but um, if you are using non default uh, delimiters um, uh, to to and if you are trying to reuse the uh, the scoop uh, uh, generated code while doing the import uh, which is not typical uh, sorry while doing the export which is not typical then sometimes you might have to use this fields terminated by lines terminated by escaped by and closed by also um, and they are actually import based commands and um, if you use non default uh, 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 default characters for these things um, while doing the import and if you try to use the same uh, java files which are generated at the time of import while doing the export as well then you need to specify these as well otherwise you don't need to uh, if you don't understand that is fine we have already covered uh, quite a bit more than what they have emphasized in the certification um, but if there are any issue, if there are any questions on scoop export and if you are running into any issues uh, related to delimiters uh, try adding um, these also along with these to uh, uh, to move forward that being said uh, let me demonstrate i already have the code um, in my uh, scoopdemo.txt but this file is not uploaded yet i will be uploading immediately after this video into github so that's why i'm using uh, uh, my terminal instead of github account to copy the code if you see i think you already familiar with these three things and we want to copy uh, export data into a table called departments underscore test let's validate that we have the table by running eval command and hit enter you have data so let me truncate this table I just want it to be empty so now the table is truncated and table is there and this is the table which will be uh, importing into or exporting into and the export directory is user high warehouse departments underscore test and let us see um, we have already seen how the data looks like so the, these are the records which we are trying to uh, export and uh, then if you are using uh, uh, the default high character uh, for fields terminated by it should be represented like this this is the ascii value for the control a character which is the delimiter uh, so you need to use this one and then input lines terminated by which is optional is new line character and uh, the num mappers is uh, 2 and batch uh, you can ignore or you can have it it doesn't make much difference here this is the directory for the java files which are generated and then these two are the new parameters so null string uh, string sorry null for uh, character fields is represented as nvl which we have seen here and for uh, non strings it is represented by minus 1 uh, so here i have to specify input null non string as minus 1 now let me run this query copy and then paste okay i th 
think there is some special character somewhere. this time okay there are some special characters let me fix those things and then I will get back so now I fixed those special characters and now you can see that the syntax is working fine and now I am doing the export so it will just take a moment and then we will review the results so it is uh, it has exported 19 records so let us see um, whether there are 19 records in the table uh, for that I am running this cat command which I have run earlier and then I am doing wc minus l which will do the uh, line count you can see that there are 19 records in the table so that sanity check succeed uh, it has 19 records in both the things and um, both the uh, sdfs uh, uh, location of hive table as well as the mysql uh, table in the mysql database now let me uh, review the results which we are which can be retrieved using the eval command without logging into mysql database so this is the query i am trying to run uh, uh, select star from departments underscore test and hit enter you can see there are uh, uh, let me do the count. Nine, I think it is 19 records. Send so of search star. I'm doing search count of one from departments and score test. And you can see there are 19 records. And also instead of uh, minus one in then VL, you can see this record is null and null, which is um, uh, which is represented as null in uh, in uh, MySQL, even though. It is represented as minus one and then we are in HDFS or Hive table. And also, uh, we should validate in, in those extreme scenarios, we should also validate by few other test scenarios. In this case, I am doing where department ID is null and department name is null. So, if there are actually null values in the database, it should return that uh, record otherwise it, it should not and you can see that the count uh, returned as one we will also do select star from and hit enter so you can see that both the values are null so that ends uh, our uh, uh, our uh, <coughs> um, our topic of changing the delimiter at the time of using scope even though the syllabus explicitly says import we have covered both import and export that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on this uh, channel especially this playlist if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback or ask any technical questions either you can use uh, uh, the comment section of the video or you can ask me a stack overflow by tagging the questions using scoop which i will be closely monitoring and also if you want to discuss you can use uh, my linkedin uh, uh, group which is called as hadoop certifications um, and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye